This video shows an IETF auditor undertaking a part of an IETF 16949 remote audit at a certified client. Watch this video and see if this aspect of the remote audit is undertaken effectively. Uh, so good afternoon. My name is Paul, the IETF auditor. Could you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Andy Norman. I'm the production manager at Advanced Plastics. Hello, Andy. So I spent some time, as you know, with your management team earlier looking at your high level key performance indicators for this year. What I'm really interested in now is how do you communicate those to the shop floor? Um, can you take me through how, how does that work? What is the way that you communicate? Yep. Yeah, so we have our information boards um, populated on the main gangway, uh, which all the staff um, pass as they enter and exit the building. Good. So I wonder if it's possible, if you can walk me down then and show me the communication board, and then you can explain the structure of the board. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. So Andy, uh, can you show me how the objectives are communicated to the shop floor? Yep. So we have our information boards uh, regarding environmental quality health and safety and continuous improvements and these are the current status of the boards so we've got the environmental um, policies and looking at the standard operation sheets and how we manage our environmental uh, procedures okay we've then got our internal quality so we're looking at the customer um, and internal raised uh, NCRs that we received and the corrective actions that we've done in, in terms of closing them out. It also gives us the, the cost of quality as well on, on some of them where it applies. We've got our health and safety um, issues and the quality health and safety audit schedule uh, displayed on the board and we also have the quality KPIs um, on there as well. As you can see we're a little bit behind, um, we need the March information, but due to COVID, we have had a few issues getting these up, up to date in a timely manner. Yeah, can you zoom in on that quality just so I can, yeah, that, that would be great. Okay, so you're up to date for February. Um, yep. But yeah, I, I did see the March data with your management team um, yep. earlier, but now it's just a communication to the shop floor. Okay. It is, yep. Um, and what about, can you zoom in for me on the customer performance uh, on the previous board you showed? In terms of the internal and external NCRs? Yeah, so take me to the external if you can. So what are the last related quality issues that you have recorded? So again, on the, um, on, on the board, we need to do the update. Um, so some of these will be past tense. Um, so we've got the missing gaskets on the safety filters. Um, look at, looking at what cor corrective actions we're going to be doing on them. We've got the um, paint thickness on the PDC holders for the customer plastic omnium. Um, so the, the paint isn't actually adhering to the product correctly. And then we also have the incorrect barcode label found on the air duct curtains there as well. Right, and two of those I looked at earlier, but I think since this, you've had two or three other customer complaints, haven't you? We have, yeah. Yeah. Again, need updating. Yeah, and what about the internal performance, finally? Can you zoom in for me on the internal performance? Yeah, so, so explain got, to me these. We've got the rocker cover. Um, we were doing rework at the machine side, and we didn't have the necessary rework instructions present whilst the work was being carried out. So we've actually looked at our internal procedures on that, on how we control that one going forward. We've also got a scrap being placed into a white sack and, and not being counted off and marked off on the Matic system. Um, that was um, due to the operator training. So we looked at our training policies and our induction process of new staff. Again, that's relevant on um, this one. So this is for the KPIs for run at rate versus planned and completed and um, we've also got the um, training not up to date that linked in with the previous one 
for the scrap not being placed in the correct container. So no, I think you've got a very good framework there for communicating with the, the workforce. Um, obviously, I have the concern that it's not up to date, but I'll discuss that with you and the management team uh, later. So no, thank you very okay. much for thank you very much for sharing that with us. Thank you. In this video, the auditor is following the audit trails from the audit of top management processes, focusing on how the policy and objectives of the organization are deployed throughout the organization. Based upon the production manager's explanation, the auditor then requested to see the communication boards in the production area. It was evident that the boards were not up to date. Whereas this disruption may have been caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and any disruption caused by that, this cannot be used as a valid excuse for ineffective communication. The auditor then followed audit trails, first focusing on external issues and then internal issues. By starting the production audit with the review of performance, this gave the opportunity for several audit trails related to customer concerns, including issues, for example, with paint adhesion and barcode labeling. In undertaking a remote audit, it is essential that the auditor still applies the automotive process approach with the focus on performance. In this video, the auditor followed audit trails from the audit of top management to see how the policy and the objectives of the organization were deployed and reported to the relevant production personnel. Although COVID-19 has caused many companies significant disruption, this really cannot be used as an excuse for not having a robust internal communication process. Focusing on performance is a great way for the auditor to collect information and to allow prioritized audit trails to be followed based upon risk. In this example, the auditor collected information on recent customer concerns and internal performance issues. Thank you.